Hello once again, this is a Fusion and what this is, this is a Sega Master System and a Mega Drive emulator as well as the said Master System, Game Gear, um, Genesis Mega Drive and you can also load up the 32X that's the, um, the Mega Drive's extension, CD extension with this other stuff Never had one, so I couldn't really tell you. Sega CD image and all. Um, so yeah, this emulator has a lot of stuff on it. So what I basically will just show you the basics, you know, basic setups, what you really, really need to do to play your games. Um, so let's first of all have a look at all the options. So load Master System, load Game Gear, generous series if in the UK or in Europe I think it was just in North America or just United States of America it was called the Genesis so obviously this was made by an American could be wrong on that one um, so yeah we would call it the Mega Drive and Sega CD image boot Sega CD you don't really need to worry about that I don't think because I don't use it it's, if you basically this is I basically only use this for Mega Drive and Master System anyway. So power on, I'll reset, never use that, not really need to. Because um, I think if you insert a new ROM it resets it anyway, but I will double check that. Power off, reset, game generate, just all this. So load save, save states, if you want to save your pro where you are in a game, you can save it. Uh, load state, save start, I don't know, as says, uh, that's if you want to save it directly. Um, change state slot, and change the slot. I never use all this anyway. Save screenshot if you want to save it for screenshot. Load RAM cart, no idea, don't have to worry about that. Create new RAM cart. File history, so this is the games you loaded. Clear history, I think this is going off screen now, so there's only two more options. Clear history, you won't see that, it clears all the file history. And exit, so that's what you get in file. Now video, obviously video size, you can change it to anything you want, or whatever your computer's, um, I think that's what you can, whatever your resolution's on, on your screen, obviously you can go up to 16 by 1200. Um, full screen, Oh, you can got a lot more options there. Uh, that's window size full screen. Sorry, full screen. That'll take it to full screen. Uh, V-Sync. I don't know what that does. But then you can change all this. Your TV modes and all that. Scan lines. If you want scan lines. Um, TV mode. And this. I think this. The sort of quality. Um, NTSC aspect. I don't really pay no attention to this um, sounds once again I don't bother with that so you can change all this if you want right option set config now this this is important um, a BIOS I don't, I don't think it's got BIOS is it? it still works without it Genesis um, just tells you where you want your games to go right um, yeah, you can change where your locations where you want to save your files, load your files. Sega CD. This is all the um, BIOS settings and all that. I ain't using Sega C CD. And same with X32. Controllers. Now, this is what you've got to do. You've got to um, configure this. So you go to port 1, you can choose um, a free button pad, whatever you're using. Um, then you can change it generic so that's what I'm using there generic USB joystick which is a, a PlayStation 2 clone so if you go to that you can go to divide define and you can define um, your controls pretty easy stuff I've already done it so I'm going to show you again but it's very simple and um, extras nah, don't have to worry about that so basically just toggle your controls so that's, oops, I moved that. So that's your options. 
what is it, then your country, you can set that to Europe or your US, wherever you're from. Um, CD drive, none, because I'm not using CD drives, one or ROMs. Um, perhaps you use it if you're using the CD32 or X, whatever it's called. These, you can show your stuff, show frames per second. This ain't really important, I won't bother with this. Basically, just go to set config, um, go to your controls, set them up. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Okay. So, yeah, so let's load a master system game up. It takes me to the um, direct, uh, directory. Uh, let's pick a game. I'll wipe it out. So the controls are all set up, so that's your master system game. So now, this is where we can use the re... What was I going to say? Let's see what happens if we can load up another ROM that might... Yeah, as I say, if you load up another ROM, it resets it anyway. So let's go to a, 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 a Mega Drive game and... So that takes me to the Mega Drive directory. And let's just pick a game. So yeah, it just resets it anyway. So you don't have to worry about resetting it. Um, so if we go to options set config, I think, yeah. Yeah, because you can just, so you can make a drive. Gen ah, right, yeah. So if you set up your controller anyway, it sets it up in both. That's what I think anyway. Yeah. All oh, right, look, if you go to, I'm going to reset it all up now anyway, because you go to define, you go, um, look at the bottom, press button, direction, or keyboard. So you can use keyboard if you want. So up, down, down, left, right, button A, button B, button C. Um, start button, well, I'll just push start. For X and Y, so I'll use the, so I just use the front buttons. Yeah, so basically it sets it up for your Mega Drive and and your Master System. So it sets it up for everything, I think. So you don't have to worry. Once you set your controls up, you don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah. So basically it's pretty simple to use, it is a very good emulator if you like your Mega Drive and your, um, I've not tried the Game Gear at all yet but I wasn't much into handhelds anyway so yeah that would be definitely interesting to try, um, the X32 ROM and the Sega CD image, that that also be interested but you know give it a go and see what you think. Anyway I'm going to end this now, thank you so much for watching, until next time and goodbye.